A question that my clients often confront me with is, is my tree safe? Which brings me to recognizing weaknesses in trees and how do we as arborists recognize the defect and make a decision to make the tree reasonably safe as well as condemn the tree because it's too far gone. Well, that's a big subject because we've got decay, we've got type crotches, we've got excessively heavy branches, we've got root decay, we've got fungal problems, we've got so many things to recognize. But sometimes there are very clear cut indicators of a problem and it doesn't take an arborist to recognize these. So I want to start presenting some of these problems and today is a good example. This morning on the way to work, I spotted a problem. I was on my way to work this morning. I actually came back for this one and I saw this failure here and I thought, wow, I wonder if I could have predicted that. And clearly, this tree should not have stayed. This is, an, this is a total mess. This is a, a disaster. And what we've got here is an included crotch where this side, which already split off in the past, was associated with this three-way crotch up here. And you had everything that was catching some debris. A little bit of water was going down in here, but as each section of the tree was growing, it was pushing a little bit of a split. And then added to that all that extra weight. This is a pistache tree, by the way. And interestingly, this side is still hanging up there, sort of. It's uh, something that could have easily been predicted. And interestingly, this didn't necessarily have to be removed. Had they taken 50% of the weight off of this tree, and possibly put a cable or a through rod up here, this tree might have lasted another 20 years. But it had a defect, a serious defect, but if you can minimize the strain, even on a weak tree, um, you can often prolong it. So it's all about paying attention. You know, if you look for these potential problems, you're gonna find them. So over on this side, we've got another failure. Got another limb that broke, also a pistache tree. I got to back up. We had some pretty significant winds last night. Um, 40, 50 mile an hour gusts came through here. And in this little part of town here in San Jose, it's like a wind tunnel. So these trees were just whipping around. But once again, this tree, it's just been neglected. It's a parking lot tree. Nobody cares about it. Nobody pays much attention to it. And it just had an excessive amount of weight and it failed. Also an interesting thing is someone decided to try to contain the roots. So they put it in one of these box root guards. I don't like these things at all. The concept is that it'll redirect the roots down deeper so they don't come up and, and lift things. But usually I see these as being more of a problem and clearly that it didn't work. It's broken up, so roots got through over here and here and here. So it's just, the expansion of the trunk just pushes its way out and causes girdling. So that in itself could have been a problem that didn't lead to this failure. So there's uh, multiple sources of neglect. And speaking of recognizing hazards in trees, my son Kyle sent me this. He lives in Florida and I'm not sure where he got this, but uh, this is a palm tree that was impacted by some of the Hurricane Irma debris from uh, probably an adjacent house. This is clearly a hazard. <laughs> it needs to be removed. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you subscribe to my channel and uh, please leave me a comment.